Data Skeptics. Data Skeptics. Data Skeptics. Welcome to Data Skeptic Time Series. This is Data Skeptic Time Series, the podcast about how to predict the future based on historical sequential data. Welcome to the new season of Data Skeptic, everybody. We asked you to vote on our new topic. Significantly less than 1% of you followed through on that. But of those that did, time series was the most common choice. I'm excited for this season as it presents the opportunity for a great blend of episodes on use cases and methodology. We'll cover interesting projects and companies, and we'll do a survey of current and influential literature. The topic of time series has a bit of jargon that you'll need to appreciate some of the interviews. This episode seeks to communicate some of those definitions and provide some audible mnemonics to help explain them. Later in this episode, we will all be listening to a Bach minuet together. Later in this episode, we will all be listening to a Bach minuet together. Lag is an amount of time that passes between an event and when you can measure that event in a time series. Take an aspirin now, and you'll feel its effects in 20 to 30 minutes. Or that echo effect you hear on the beat in the background. The pair of notes are heard initially, but lagging effects resonate for moments after. In a forecasting problem, you might even introduce lagged features in order for machine learning to have a crude way of seeing the recent history. The bass line from our theme song represents seasonality. If you hear the word seasonality and you think spring, summer, autumn, winter, you're going to need to get over that very quickly. In time series, we use the word seasonality to describe repeating patterns that occur regularly over time. The organ represents trend. As it climbs the chromatic scale in a predictable linear fashion, it would be very easy for an ordinary least squares regression to find this pattern. However, that OLS is going to struggle when the system is no longer linear and starts trending downward. Techniques like the low S local regression, moving average, or some kernel method might be useful in your problem to gain a better understanding of the dynamics of your data. I'm going to go ahead and assume that many of you recognize that interlude as hardcore band Charles Bronson from DeKalb, Illinois. It is not, in fact, noise, as I had to explain to my mother on numerous occasions. It has a predictable meter. It has periodic, melodic, and rhythmic patterns. You can see these on a spectrogram. I mean, how can it be noise if I can compress the file and it gets smaller? Anyway, this is what noise actually sounds like. No, that's not the ocean. It's called white noise. It's a random signal where all frequencies have equal intensity. There's no pattern or trend to extract from it. If you fit a model to a time series and the difference between your prediction and the actual data is white noise, then there's nothing left to extract from your data. The model is as good as it's going to get. Listen to this piano solo for a minute. I randomly generated this. It just follows the blues scale and moves around a bit with some random number generators. It's clearly artificial. A true soloist includes many repeating patterns and motifs. Our solo is noise because at any point, the notes played are not influenced by the past nor can you listen to them and gain any insight about the pitches that will be played in the future. Time for a summary. There's the trend. Here's the seasonality. And here's a bit of noise. Like any time series, we're experiencing all three at once. 
Perhaps we have a time series that we'd like to decompose into these constituent parts. We'll cover techniques like ARIMA, which can identify trends and seasonality in our data. Then using a process called differencing, we can subtract those out, leaving behind what's left, which is called the residuals. Consider this melodic time series. Constant average, but with a little variance. Here's more variance. This time, let's increase the variance with time. That's described as heteroskedasticity. These examples are all what we call stationary time series. Despite periodic elements, the data as a whole doesn't really change with time. For contrast, here's a time series that isn't stationary. It's notably different, depending on what time we tune in. Many time series problems have interesting such dynamics. Above all else, remember past returns do not necessarily predict future success. All right, dear listeners. We're now at the part of the show where you're encouraged to play along at home. I want you to put that Turing machine you carry in your cranium to work and try to predict what happens next in the audio sequence I'm about to play. Here's a hint for all the computer scientists. I call this piece the punchline to the pumping lemma. By now you should have some hypotheses. Yes, it alternates. What about the duration? Well, if you care to count it, the sequence began with one low note, then one high note, then two low, two high, three, and three, and so on. And despite the simplicity of this pattern, it has an important feature. It requires a memory. You have to be able to count. That counter can be very efficiently stored in memory, but you have to maintain it. So depending on what the signal is in your time series, you may require a variety of different methodologies to be able to recognize that it's there. Be honest. How many of you remembered? The Bach Minuet. I mentioned it. Later in this episode, Never mind. we will all be listening to a Bach minuet together. For those of you who did remember, despite the lag of 6 minutes and 30 seconds, you did something no traditional time series method does. You brought in context. You also performed zero shot learning, observing something that has no historical record in the time series. These are the skills of a mind that can perform seemingly universal induction. How we get machines to do the same isn't totally clear, but without a doubt, deep learning techniques are playing a significant role in that process. We'll unpack that and many other ideas as this new season rolls out.